And we begin on this Sunday night with a shocking story. A 25 year old who vanished as a teenager eight years ago was found alive. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has been getting the facts on this story all day. She just spoke with that man's mother about all of it. Brooke, what did she tell you? Tom, I just got off the phone with Rudy Farias's mother just moments ago. She's actually sending me more pictures right now, but she was emotional, as you could imagine. This is the best case scenario. Her son was found alive after eight long years with so many questions that she's had over the years, not knowing whether he was even alive. Now she says he is in the hospital and has a long journey ahead of him, both emotionally and physically. These are pictures she shared of us of Rudy Farias at the hospital. She says he has cuts and bruises all over his body. She says there was blood found in his hair. She tells me it was obvious he was badly abused and beaten, and she has questions too about where her son was the last eight years. Farius was reported missing back in 2015 when he didn't return home after walking his two dogs near Tidwell and Park Drive. At the time, he was just 17 years old. Now, eight years later, his mother says someone called 911 after they found her son unresponsive outside of a church. She says Farius hasn't been able to say much when they talk to him. She says he'll just say a few words. He'll then go into a fetal position and he'll just shut down completely. She did tell me that he has a brother who died back in 2011 from a motorcycle incident and he was wearing his brother's necklace and he was found with that necklace still on when they try to talk to him. She tells me she squeezes onto that necklace and believes whatever has happened throughout the last eight years. She says that is what she thinks has kept him through tomorrow. She says doctors and therapists are going to talk to him and she hopes to get more answers from him. But in the meantime, she is really just so happy that her son was found alive. Again, so many questions here that we'll continue to stay on top of and press officials about tomorrow. We're live in Houston. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.